Over 200 years ago, the first smallpox vaccine was developed. Since then, vaccines have reduced or eliminated many infectious diseases that once routinely killed and harmed people. Although some of these diseases are still around, getting vaccinated helps ensure that they don't come back from near extinction. Well, I'm often asked if people should fear vaccinations, but to me what's scary is what could happen if you don't get vaccinated. Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, the chief medical officer of Pfizer, is back. We're going to show you how, but also why you should protect yourself. Oh, thank you so much for having me. You know, I love talking about prevention, and vaccine is just a wonderful way to help prevent illnesses. And it prevents illnesses in a couple of ways. The first or primary way is, of course, the individual. You get a vaccination, and it can provide you protection, long-lasting, and sometimes even lifelong against some illnesses. The second way most people don't realize is called herd immunity. And that's when most people in the community are vaccinated. And it makes it harder for a disease to take hold and spread. And that means that some people in the community that are not vaccinated can also be protected. And that can be important for people like with uh, chronic illnesses or newborn babies that haven't had their vaccinations yet or whose immune systems are not um, quite up to full speed yet. You know, a lot of people are confused as to when they need to get vaccinated. We recently received a video from a student who needed answers. Let's take a look. What's up, doctors? My name is Rochelle, and I'll be studying abroad very soon, and I have a question for you. What shots do I need before I leave? A common and great question, because earlier this year, a young person who was not vaccinated returned to the U.S. infected with measles. It made headlines when 58 unvaccinated folks were later infected because of this one person. We actually sent Dr. Sears out on a house call to give her some answers. Hey, Rochelle, Dr. Sears. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, come in. It is important to keep your immunizations up to date, all right? Because if you don't get vaccinated, measles and whooping cough, <laughs> they can make a big comeback because they're so contagious. Also very preventable. I haven't had the measles shot since I was a kid. The CDC does recommend getting a second dose of MMR. This is important for college students. Also depends on where you're going to travel. So it's a good idea to sit down with your doctor and you can figure out exactly which you need. I actually have one with me. I can give it to you if you want. Let's do it. Okay. Here it comes. Here it goes. Ready? Done. There we go. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. Thank you, doctors. <laughs> That's good. Well, I'm glad she was proactive about her health. We're going to take a look at why we need vaccines and how easily measles can spread. It's a virus that is found in the nose and throats of infected patients. It's sprayed by coughs and sneezes into the air where it can remain infectious for up to two hours. So if you're not vaccinated, you can become infected simply by breathing in the air. Now, symptoms you might have are nonspecific, fever, coughing, and a rash. Measles can also lead to other complications and what we fear the most, even death. And you know, uh, there's so many diseases that because of vaccinations, we're just not aware of anymore. Uh, polio is a great example of that. If you think about polio, there's a worldwide effort to eradicate it uh, with vaccinations, but it isn't gone yet. Now, some people choose not to have themselves vaccinated or their children vaccinated. Um, one of the reasons that they talk about is uh, risk. Like any medication, vaccines can have side effects. For the most part, though, they're minor side effects. We're talking about a sore arm where you get the shot, maybe a low-grade fever as your immune system gets into place for a few days. Vaccines are continually monitored for safety, more so than almost any other thing that we mm -hmm. provide patients. But a decision not to get immunized could put you, as well as others who come into contact with you, at risk of a potentially deadly disease or disabling one like polio. And, you know, the, the way to get the best benefit out of vaccines is to make sure that you've taken the whole recommended series for the vaccination. And it isn't just kids or students that should make sure that they're up to date on their vaccinations. Adults really need to pay attention to this. So go to the doctor, sit down, make sure that you and your family have um, the full range of vaccination protection that is appropriate to you. For example, my husband and I just became new grandparents. Congratulations. I am over the moon. First thing we did was to go to our doctor to make sure that we were updated on all of our vaccinations, not just to protect ourselves, but to protect our new grandson. And of course, for more information on vaccinations, you can always go to gethealthystayhealthy.com.
You can also visit thedoctorstv.com for additional information. Thank you so very much for joining oh, us today. Thank you. It is always right a pleasure. Back.